Hello everyone, Huge Own One here, and today we are playing Minecraft again. It's been a while, I know, but we're gonna get back to what we should be doing, which is uploading videos. So right now we're gonna be de testing, retesting my. If you haven't known, I have upgraded this map a lot, and that's why we're taking a tour. But since I'm by myself, it's no fun playing with nothing. So, I can fix that. We are setting the time tonight so that mobs will spawn. So, therefore, it shouldn't be easy. Oh, and we don't have maps anymore? But I figured I should re-add them. No, because then players can still see it. It's depending on setting. Alright, so where should we land first? I've already put it only up north. I don't know where I, I don't know where the deal where I'm going. That's the end of the world. Where's the battle beacon? The Battle Beacon's been here for a while, but that up there is new, which I should show you guys, but first I need to get some good gear from, oh crap, pretend that's another Fortnite player, or Fortcraft player, whose primary style is bows. Yeah, it's kind of like training. You can do this in multiplayer as well. I swear there was another player over there. The bad thing is skeletons have bad range. So they can't see you from a mile away. Which they really should be able to. This is a default bow. This is a default crossbow, so it's not powerful at all. But since this is a, since I want to show you everything, we're going to get a map. This is the world of Fortcraft. And if you've known, last time we played this, I think there was only, um, up to rare rarity but now all rarities that I'm planned on adding are in the game now I forgot I don't have unlimited health anymore but I know there's a chest somewhere around here this is the legendary chest one of the four. I don't know if I added only three or four, but this is one of them. It includes the protective helmet, protects you from, protects you from damage, the stabbing short sword, which is a lot better than a basic, um, than a basic leather cap. I mean, no, than a basic wooden pickaxe, which you get at the start of the game. This thing does 10 damage, plus knockback and fire aspects, so that would deal more damage. Then there's the sniping bow. Doesn't have infinity, but it's better than the default crossbow, so you should use this instead of the crossbow. And then you get some lingering potions. And there's mats up here as well. If you want to get different ammo types, then that's easy. All you gotta do is go to another 
Just keep inventory on. Yeah, it's on. I took less damage from what from drowning, which is not normal. I mean, I don't have anything that protects me from that. I might re-add maps, but I just have to edit a setting. Okay, so I've got some food. Lifestock normally spawns at daylight, but this is because it's been a while since I turned it to night. Wait, no it's not. Because I haven't even been on this side of the map. Maybe I guess they do spawn at night. Because most of the time you never find mo um, any um, passive mobs at night time, which is really ridiculous. Yeah, it's really easy to get strong in this game. I mean, it used to be really hard to survive in here. Now it's not. It's hard if you get good gear. Especially when you're in your battle beacon. If you want, if you feel like climbing up there, you're gonna need at least four stacks of anything. So that's 64 times two times four. So you need four stacks of that. That right there is a home of another legendary chest. This is like a one-shot bow. See, that's a normal player that's... A zombie represents a player that uses melee attacks instead of normal attacks. This is the, the fire chest plate. It protects you from fire damage. This is the killing shovel. It does damage and it's a good tool to use. This is the pushing bow. This bow has infinity. So if you ever are low on ammo, use that. But instead of having... But this bow also does not have... This bow doesn't have power. So it doesn't do as much damage as the sniping bow does. I'm gonna put this up here. Don't need that. Now we're gonna go to the third chest. I don't know if I added the um the um the row before the middle row or not, but if I didn't, oh well. I guess I don't get the um boots that I'm supposed to get. But if I did, then that's great. I guess I get a full set of dot of good armor, plus a better item as well, which is in the mythical chest, which is the elemental boots, which is the best boots. You can no wait, no the elemental helmet which is the best helmet in the game. See, this is the best chest plate, because there's only one elemental item so far. The, these are radiant le leggings. They protect you from creepers and stuff like that. Which in the future, I should add TNT. And then you get a diamond pickaxe, which is reskinned into the webbing pickaxe because this has Bane of Arthropods as its primary ability. Then there's the burning bow which has which makes it different of the pushing bow is this one has power and, and infinity but it doesn't have punch. See these bows are all different but if you want maximum death use this one. Well this one will kill immediately too but it won't push them. <sighs> now 
Now I'm gonna make sure. Let's hope I added this. Otherwise. Huh? I will be back in a moment. It is recommended you skip through this part of the video to the next part where I start moving my screen around circles for a couple seconds. I will see you guys when I am done. Hold on a second. Goodbye. Just wait a second. Hi, I'm back! Yeah, 
Okay. We're back and we're gonna continue the journey to get this chest. Why do I have a feather? I don't need a feather in this game. Wait, why am I not equipped in a bow? I'm gonna equip the um, burning bow. I don't think I added it, did I? Yeah, it wasn't added yet. It'll eventually be added. Well, I guess that means I need mats. So, I'm gonna loot three of these kind of little places. Three um, normal areas that give you crap loot. Just for dirt. My scope sights isn't working today. But this is how Fortnite was played. Slimes don't do anything unless they're this big or hotter. Because they have to they they can attack at this side, but they can at this side. I think I said side. And even bigger ones can do more damage. But I can one shot them too. They're just that weak. But they still have the hitbox even though they're dead for like a second when they're doing their death animation. Oh, I think I passed the location. Like, this is Treasure Isles. Yep, this is Treasure Isles. I don't think y'all seen this place before, but it's... Pretty much a Perch Marine area. Open the door, go in here. I don't need that. I can take the ammo though. Does Infinity work with this? No. Infinity does not work with these kind of arrows. Don't know why, it just doesn't. I guess it only works with normal arrows. And it also gives you a crap pickaxe. And it also gives you some potions and stuff. These are the level 1 potions. They're the weakest of them all. I'm eventually going to add TNT in the game, which will resemble as creepers who tend to blow themselves up because they're uncareful with TNT. That's going to be a thing. See, so each type of mob represents a different type of player. The zombie represents those new players who just get gray loot and try to kill you. Unless if they have a sword, then they would at least loot one place or have armor. The skeletons represent players who use a bow. If they have armor, they loot in places. The spiders represent people who use buffs all the time. Like use all the potions and everything. Creepers represent players who blow themselves up with TNT. This has not been added as a feature yet. Oh, I forgot to grab the mats. Yeah, I haven't added TNT yet, but they will be in the game. Endermen represent people who have looted stuff like at least epic rarity or higher. Well, at least, um, let's just say at least rare rarity. be safe. Okay, got mats, but I don't have enough, so I'm going to continue getting some. This video's been going on for 20 minutes now. Which place should we loot next? Not Cyber City. We've looted there before. I think I had that on video before. So we're gonna go to Forbidden Spires. This isn't the only setup. There's six kinds of setups. 
if you include weather and daylight cycle only. But really, there's many possibilities. You can go with difficulty, weather, and time cycle. If you the difficulty represents how much how hard it's gonna be to survive in the world. This may also affect some other things as well. Difficulty represents many things. The daylight cycle represents if you want for um, craft nightmares on or off. Then, and then what there is like at traditional settings. If, you, if it's raining, Endermen will teleport everywhere and want to stay in the shade. If it's if they're thundering, if, it, if there's an additional thunder to added to it, the trident, the uh, mythical trident, will get abilities. thing is the players will be faster than the zombies which I really should finish this area up so then I can move on to the nether because I want to build in there too like I want to build three different paddle royale areas See more crap loot. You get dirt. I don't need that. I mean, I don't want gunpowder in my inventory because it's useless. Because I'm going to give you TNT anyways. This arrow is better. Potion of luck. Good for fishing when you craft a fishing rod. Now, what's the last location I should loot? Not Candoria. I think we did that one too. Um, Dragonfire Peaks. Dragonfire Peaks is located on the um third on the um I'm just gonna say the bottom left bottom left quadrant. I'm not gonna call it its number because not everyone knows what that is. Well, it can get confusing sometimes. That's why I'm not gonna call out numbers. So I'm gonna say top left, bottom left top right and bottom right as quadrants instead just so it's easier to remember I know all the numbers for all the quadrants myself but again not everyone knows it and also when we reach the nether there's going to be stronger mobs and the battle beacon may not exist because I only, because you can't build a battle beacon in the nether. It's just not possible. Got strength and weakness. This is a witch. These are the people who use offensive potions to everybody and drink immunity potions to keep themselves immune to everything and there's an enderman one of the players who has really good gear that my friend was a creeper the only thing is TNT takes longer to blow up than creepers how much damage does this do? Let's see. After I kill this skeleton before he ruins and jeopardizes my mission. Critical hit. If you're lucky enough to kill these guys, you are most likely... Well, not most likely, but you can and possibly can get an item called 
the um, Ender Pearl, which allows you to teleport, but in a cost of 25% of your health. Which is a lot. How fast do I dig this? Really fast. Even though it doesn't have haste or anything like that. Or, um, whatever those buffs were. Whatever that enchantment was. Oh, and also, you can also do, um, Thanos mode by just adding the wither, but it's really hard. And I'm thinking about turning mob griefing off. I really should do that. Yeah, I should turn off mob griefing when I do that. It's gonna stop the problem of Remember, the base, that base up there is bigger than this. So it's only bigger by one block, so you want to build. Not right here, but right here or somewhere like that. Get away from me. Because of the beacon, you can build pretty fast. The loot that's up there is really good. And yes, there is a better material than obsidian in this game. But if it becomes an issue, I will not keep it in the game because this is because it's bedrock. And if you are if you're if you played Minecraft for a while, you should know bedrock cannot be destroyed in any circumstances. At least in survival. In creative, you can destroy as much bedrock as you want, except for the last layer. Because that's the end of the world, and you don't want to go out of the world. It also applies to the nether and end, but the end doesn't have bedrock, so it doesn't really count. So you can still dig underground and hurt yourselves. Well, not underground, but in the void. If I fell from this, and I didn't use my elytra, I would die. Oh, I guess I only need three stacks. My bad. My calculations were wrong. That's surprising. Where's this guy gonna teleport? Where did he teleport? Why isn't he catching on fire? the enderman went but he's probably either dead or something this is the mythical chest it is yellow and it's the only one in the world and items it includes is the elemental helmet I told you about that I told you about the trident I haven't told you about the these three items yet though so you get a um, elemental helmet which gives you a bunch of buffs and it allows you to stay underwater longer, too. You get the Elemental Trident, which is the most powerful weapon in the game. So it's better to have this than to have that. The Elemental Bow. The Elemental Bow is better than the normal bow because it has all the buffs of all the other bows in the world plus unbreaking which none of the bows have unbreaking all right let's do like this and it has it also has some good potions as well and as well as bedrock tnt will be added in this chest in the future Yeah, this trident is really powerful. I'm going to show you an example of it in the um, Thunder game mode setting. 
it snows up here because this is the um, high, really high point, not because of biome. Okay, that didn't work right. My Elytra was on, it just didn't want to eject. I guess it probably... Maybe I flew it wrong. Maybe it was the biome. In the desert, it doesn't rain, period. But that doesn't mean the thunder effects still don't occur. Watch this. Pray, don't you run from me. Fine, I'll hunt this zombie instead. Now it wouldn't work if he's under a tree. See, watch this. When I hit this skeleton... Okay, everything won't leave me alone. We'll wait for one of these to die. Then we do this. Will you stop moving? It will zap the target it hits. It does massive damage, especially in the death, especially in hot areas, because in these areas, there's no way anything to get away. Yeah, you can also form charged creepers. I guess the trident's gone because I blew up before I got my trident back. Yeah, my trident must have disappeared. But it's the end of the video anyway. So if you enjoyed the video, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!